All right, so as you can see, this is a CFF radiator. When I originally put it, that's the shroud of the circle of the fan. You see it marked, which is this thing was touching. Well, here, this one specifically, the other one wasn't touching. So what I'm doing, I don't know if this is going to fix it, but I, it might clear it. So you see these little spacers. Uh, I don't know the exact measurement, but uh, crazy part, I got these from the wall mount TVs that you buy at Walmart for like the 42 inch. They come with these spacers in there. Well, they come with a bunch of different sizes like these and washers to, to install to the wall mount to the back of the TV. Um, it, it's just thinner ones here. The problem is it only comes with four. So I'm gonna have to go to Walmart and buy another one and I'll show you a specific box. So essentially what you do, if you, you see the left side, this has a spacer. So you see how there's a little, it's pushed in a little bit in there. If you looked in here, it is flush with this plastic. You see that? In here, it just pushes back just further enough, just the size of the washer you see how the washer fits in there and then it's flush with this plastic and here if you put the washer it is not flush with the plastic and it's spinning freely not hitting anything so um with that i have to do this side the driver's side i have to go to walmart though to buy another one and so i can get the two washers but still cheaper than I couldn't find metal ones that were thick enough and I want to put a bunch. So you have to take this fan shroud off and then through here you snake the washers. It's a little tricky. You have to unbolt this um, plug. It's by two 10 millimeter bolts that's behind there. So then the motor here that I'm pointing at, you can push it back and then slide the washer in between. So you put the bolt first and then you slide, you fish the washer through the back and then you put all the washers in, all the bolts, push them all the way, and then you push the motor to the front and you start torquing them lightly, one side at a time, just enough by hand, and then you torque it all completely down hand tight. So I think this might fix it. This might give me enough clearance. If not, then I have to take my car apart again and then go with the OEM unit, which is sitting over there. So um, I made a video because there's no video at all on how to do this. So hopefully this helps others.